How to use Doodle. Schedule a meeting for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with Doodle and start your scheduling from anywhere at any time. So let's get into it. Now we all have a lot of meetings and places to get to and using a scheduling software can really enable you to make sure that everything is simplified, especially if you're running a business. Then for business purposes, Doodle is definitely the top pick that I have for meetings and, you know, calls or anything of that sort. So let's get into creating our Doodle account. Now, before we get into that, let's take a look at the pricing of Doodle. So you guys can see over here doodle is available for free so you don't have any credit card requirement to get started and all you have to do is click on sign up on the top right over here and you can sign up via google apple facebook or microsoft or you can use your email address to create an account so let's just continue on with google over here now you guys can see i have previously created some items within my doodle account now we're going to get started we're going to remove these items and i'm going to show you guys how you are going to get started so uh let's just delete some of these items and you guys will see this is going to be what your dashboard is going to look like so it will ask you to create your first doodle where it could be a group poll or a one-on-one -on -one meeting by doodle what they really mean is a meeting or a uh, scheduled time whatever it might be and you guys can create polls that can enable you to find the most convenient meeting times for your entire business or you know for all the people working in your business and then you can always have a one-on-one -on -one meeting now with doodle the best part is other than just creating basic meetings you can also create your own booking page you can see uh, you can create your own booking page and if you have customers, clients, let's say you are running something like a law firm or a skin clinic and you want to provide consultations to people. So for that, you can create a booking calendar and people can directly book you instead of having to call and schedule a meeting. And then, you know, that being a very long process, people can do it with one click and that can enable more customers or more consumers for your product or for your service. Now, below that, you also have your Google Calendar. So you can click on Manage over here, and you can add any of your calendar if you're using the Microsoft 365, if you're using iCloud, whichever calendar that you're using for your bookings or for your basic day-to-day -day needs, what you're using on your phone, you should connect that simply because it is going to be the most efficient to use when you are uh, you know getting started with doodle now let's get into creating our first scheduled meeting so let's say i want to create a group meeting where i'm meeting with all of the people that are in the manager position of my business so i definitely need to find out what is the best time for everyone now for that i will simply click on create poll over here and once I click on create poll, you have the title. So this could be manager meeting. So it might be the manager revenue check meeting. And then after that, in the description, it's super helpful if you include the meeting outline. So what is supposed to be discussed in the meeting? What are, you know, the main pointers that are going to happen in the meeting? They are definitely something you should add over here. Then after you have created this, you have your location. So you can enter the location if you are all working in different locations. If you are all working in the office, you can enter the name of the room that is going to happen in the office. You can also choose video conferencing options and you can use Google Meet uh, that can help you in conferencing online or Zoom or Microsoft, whatever online platform you're using. I'm going to leave this for now. Now, after that, you can add your times. Now, first off, you need to enter the duration of the meeting. Now, this is always going to be a estimated duration. Obviously, meetings can be longer or shorter. So you can add a custom duration. You have 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Let's say for us, it's going to be a one hour meeting and you guys can choose month or week. So let's say this meeting needs to happen in the next week so i'm going to add multiple different dates and times that people can select from so let's say anywhere between the 17th to the 20th i want this meeting to happen so i'm going to first off start with the 17th and i'm going to add different times and dates and the first time that i'm going to add is 10 a.m and maybe on the 16th it could also happen on the 10 a.m 
and maybe I want to add more times on the 17th of April so either it could be 10 a.m. or it could be um, you know when the business is closing so 4, 4 p.m. then on Tuesday 10 a.m. or 4 p.m. like so and then I can apply same to all dates and you can select all the dates that you want like this and it will apply it to all of your dates if you're going to select multiple different ones so this is what i have then you also on the top right you will see the time of your country so you want to make sure you enter your own time zone whatever time zone that you are working on now once you've entered all of these details you are going to scroll down and you have a deadline so uh, these are some features that are enabled only on the pro version of doodle and if you take a look at doodle they start at free and you can easily create unlimited group polls and one booking page for free then if you take a look at the pro version starting only at six dollars and 95 cents you have no ads you can create unlimited booking pages unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings as well as unlimited email invitations custom branding then you also have the team version that enables a admin console, roles and permissions, booking on behalfs and collective event scheduling as well as activity reports. But I do think that for basic businesses, for small businesses, the free version of Doodle is going to be more than good enough for you. Now going back to Doodle, once you have entered all this information, you are simply going to click on the bottom right. It says create, invite and continue. So you're just going to do that and just like that you will have your meeting created now people can go on ahead and enter you know uh their responses so the availabilities are going to be yes yes if need be cannot attend and pending now all you have to do is click on copy link and you can send this invitation to all of your business partners or all of the uh, potential participants for the meeting now you also have things like more and then you can click on email invitation and you can email this to your contacts. You can enter or paste the emails of your clients or, you know, your business partners over here to send them the invite. So that is how simple and easy it is to schedule a meeting with Doodle. Now, other than meeting scheduling, you definitely can do a lot more with Doodle. Creating a new booking page is just as simple. All you have to do is click on create new booking page, add the basic information about what you want to book and add your slots. And if you're able to create a basic meeting schedule, then you definitely will be able to, you know, create your booking one as well. Now, with these kinds of meeting schedules, not only can you create them once, but you can also duplicate them. And I'll just show you guys what it would look like if I send this link to a fellow member. So this is what the doodle invitation will look like for a participant. So you guys can see more times are available and then people can scroll and see all the times available. They can select a specific time. They can choose their options. So you have you and then they can select, let's say the 20th of April is going to be convenient like this. And then they can simply click on over here and then you are going to click on maybe these three times are most easy then they're going to click on continue then they can enter their name and their email and they will be able to sign up or you know confirm or rsvp for our meeting so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video